we got word yesterday that my wife uncle had passed away this was her mom brother her older brother it was four of the siblings you know and she didn't tell her mom because her mom is living with us and she disabled she got dementia and alzheimer's so she, she didn't want to upset her too much she's gonna wait and let her calm down and i woke up this morning and i started thinking about life what is my purpose in life? You start thinking about mortality. What have you done in life? What have you given back to the world? And I woke up about 4.30 this morning, and uh, this is about an hour before my daughter get up to go to work. She teach at an elementary school at a low income. And about 5.30, I saw her walking downstairs, and she was smiling, and she was so happy. And we hadn't told her about her uncle, so I decided to wait and maybe let her mom tell her she get off work when uh, my daughter get off work but while she was coming downstairs I asked her a question I said Michaela why, why are you so excited what what gives you all this energy is it coffee or energy drink she said no she said um, in 2023 she said I got a goal she said I got a purpose she said uh, I'm gonna create residual income passive income she said I'm, I'm getting my principal cert I have that in August she said, for this Friday, I'm taking my LSAT to go back to law school. She said, I'm working on this Amazon Prime shipping store. And uh, she was just so excited about everything. And I thought back, I said, when I was that young, uh, 29, I was excited too. But I don't know if I was that excited. But she was so excited. And we sit down and, and we had about a 20-minute conversation. And I began to listen to her. And, and she really believed in the universe, what you put out that's what you get in return and the people you hang around determines your future uh, determines who you are and that was so true um, listening to her and I know these things but sometimes you have to hear it over again and sometimes it's best to just listen and I let her talk and uh, I started thinking about in 1988 89 when a group of athletes they took five of us from our school to this FCA camp. I don't know if anybody have heard of FCA. I don't know if it's still around. But they picked five of us and we had to raise some money and we went on a trip from Jasper, Texas and we rolled the bus all the way to Colorado. But the reason I'm bringing this up, it, it was so strange because when we got there, it was thousands and thousands of people. You know, they took, like I said, they took a group of five of us guys and they we got there and you look around you see all these different athletes from track football basketball all these young guys and uh, between the ages of maybe uh 15 to 18 years old and when we got there they separated us all and we was there for about five or six days and they put us in like groups of tens and in each group they had a leader from a college that was like our like role model and we, he would teach the group and we would get in the group and every day we would pray we would read the bible and we had activities and we played basketball we ran and i noticed that the first couple of days when we got there it was more about yourself selfishness you know you you're competing you're trying to win you want to beat you're trying to be the best athlete out there but after a while, they teach you that life is more than winning. And it's a song we used to sing that say life is more than winning. Life is sharing, growing, growing stronger in your savior's arm. It was a song that we used to sing. So about the third day there, and it was strange because now it wasn't about you. It was about the people around you in your group. I noticed that when we were playing basketball, it wasn't about me shooting the ball. I want to make sure the other player get the ball and we were sharing and it was it was amazing um and you probably seen some of my videos i have a big family it's 14 of us i'm the 12th child and my oldest sister has two sons that are older than me and those two they went on this fca trip with us also so it was me my two nephews which they were a year and two years older than me and it was like two or three other guys but my nephew, the light skinned guy, I call him, he used to be very protective of me. Uh, he was a big guy and 
he watched out for me and anybody said anything, he would step in and he was like my protector. And when we got there, I was separating from all of my, my group of people. So we was in this group, the people that I didn't know this group right here on this photo. And maybe if somebody see this photo, uh, maybe you would recognize your picture and you could reach out and uh, I would like to talk to you guys because those, those were great times back then. But like I said, like on that third day, it wasn't even about me anymore. It was about how the other people are feeling. Make sure if I had a cookie and I think somebody else wanted it or needed it, I gave it to them. Or even when we ran track and I was pretty good in running cross country. And if I seen somebody else struggling, I would slow down and help them finish the race. And it was just like that. But we stayed there those five or six days and it was like you was a changed person. And then we went back home, went back to Jasper. And I say a week later, everything just like it reverted back to what it was before. And like my daughter said, you are known by the environment, you know, like the people when I was there in Colorado, they cared more about me than they did themselves and I care more about them than I did myself. But when you get back out in the real world, people are selfish. They're caring about themselves and then you revert back to doing the same thing that you used to do. And it, that's, that's life. So when you are around an environment, that is what shape you. You know, like my daughter say, daddy, if, if you want to own a business, talk to people that already have that business. Ask questions. People love to give you answers. They may not, they may not give you a direct answer, but they like answering questions because nobody want to look stupid. You know, if you ask me about a CWI question, you know, I'm going to give you the best answer I can. If I can't come up with that answer, I say, I, I, I don't know the answer. I'm going to let somebody else tell you I do some research, but I'm not going to give you the wrong answer on purpose. That makes me look <laughs> dumb. But anyway, um, it was just one of those days. Uh, I was just thinking about my purpose in life and and all the things going on, people passing away. I got classmates that I passed away and right around Christmas, uh, other people that I knew lost their family. And 2022 was a, <laughs> a very strange year. Very, very strange year. People passing away right and left and that's you know and i'm just having one of those days that i want to know what is my purpose and i want to and i think me and my wife are doing a great job raising our son and daughter they are some of the best kids they they're not in trouble they're they're doing out working um they're real respectable kids they say yes ma'am and no ma'am to the the elders and that's what we talk I noticed that the younger generations I teach at the high school sometimes and these kids just say yes no they don't say yes ma'am yes sir but I had to break my students in to say hey say yes ma'am yes sir uh, that's the way I was taught to respect don't say yeah no to your elders and I'm gonna leave you with this one verse there in the Bible Proverbs 3 and 5 it says trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. And again, have a great day and thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel.